This has not gone as planned. We missed our flight. I didn't get my phone when we left the taxi. All right, today's the day. We are heading to Europe. That's heavy one. Oh, that's heavy too. That's mine. I'm so scatterbrained right now. We just went up the escalator. Like, now we're going down the escalator. I made that decision like 20 <laughs> So my bag got tagged again. It's becoming a trend. I guess two laptops, an iPad, headphones, whatever else made it too dense. Okay, here in Salt Lake, we've got the USO lounge, but there's also a Delta Sky lounge. And now with the American Express Platinum card, I should have access to it now. Guests cost extra, unfortunately. So Heather and Lucas are staying in the USO. I'm just gonna go check out the lounge because I haven't been here. Okay, first impression, I'm happy. They got brisket, they have grilled chicken, rice, potatoes, beverages. It's a pretty good lounge. So you gotta love it when you can just leave the lounge and go straight onto the plane, right babe? Yep. Love lounge life. All right, we are on the plane. We are in premium select seating, so it's the chairs that will recline a little bit which is a heck of a lot better than not reclining. Yeah, that just happened. We made it to Paris. Got another hour and 40 minute flight from Paris to Venice. And then we'll be able to rest. First step into Paris. I hope we get moving soon because we're supposed to take off in about 40 minutes. We're gonna miss our flight because of security. Now we gotta climb stairs. This has not gone as planned. We missed our flight. And there are no flights that go to Venice today that we could get on. So, we are stuck here in Paris for one night. Such as traveling. Alright, we've got a hotel for the night. We've got a new rental car reservation. And Lucas has a chocolate brownie for dessert. We have made it to our Paris hotel one night. And that's it, and we're back to the airport. Welcome to our room for one night in Paris. Lucas gets to be on a bunk bed. Yay! <laughs> He's happy. And we'll try and find a way to push those together. So let me tell you about our trip. We were a little bit late coming out of Salt Lake. We only had about an hour and 10 minutes at most to make the transfer. We ended up having to get one of our bags searched because our own fault, we left a unopened soda in Lucas's backpack. And so that got flagged. The only one of our bags got flagged, but there were like 15 bags ahead of his that had to be inspected meticulously by one person. By the time we got to the gate, it was desolate, it was gone. So we went back up and had to talk to Air France. 
but unfortunately there were no flights leaving out today to get into Venice today like we planned. And that kind of snowballed everything. We couldn't cancel our hotel night in Venice because it is a no cancellation policy on that one. So that one we're just gonna have to eat out of pocket. So that's kind of our tale. Tomorrow we gotta wake up, head to the airport by around nine for our 12.30 flight. Well, good morning. Holy smokes, it's 8.30. And it was kind of a rough night. We all woke up uh, around two, three in the morning and then we said, okay, let's all try to go back to sleep. And miraculously, we all did. And I woke up at 8.30. So time to get ready. Fingers crossed that our luggage that stayed at the airport will actually make it on a plane like it's supposed to and the trip will continue as planned. Okay, back at the airport. This has been a complete nightmare. I set my phone down on the taxi seat and I didn't get my phone when we left the taxi. So it has been a mad dash to go down to the taxi stand to see if they can call the taxi back, but we didn't have the taxi number. So they sent us to the police. We've talked to the police who called the hotel we're at. The hotel gave the police the taxi manager number. The taxi manager called the taxi got the phone number for the taxi, gave it to the police, the police called the taxi, and he's finally coming back in about 30 minutes to the airport, and we'll bring the phone to the police station. All of this, and we're loading in two hours. Ah, oh, what have I done? Unbelievable. Lucas has been spectacular on this. Heather has been so understanding. Yeah, that's our situation this morning. Got it back. Oh my gosh, that was incredible. Great help from the police. Amazing assistance from the taxi. I can't believe we got it back. <laughs> Thanks for a good flight, appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much, bye bye. bye, -bye. We're in Italy. We made it. We made it and we have the rental car. A Peugeot. <laughs> There's already a Lucas in it. We have made it to the hotel. After one heck of an adventure. I just want to unwind, relax. It does have free breakfast, so that's nice. And hopefully we can relax today, recover, take a shower, and enjoy the day tomorrow. These are the smallest elevators I've ever seen. I can almost reach the end there. I can reach the end there. <laughs> it's already a catastrophe with all the luggage, but that's all right, because we're gonna get settled for two nights. It's a nice room. <laughs>